This is TJ. In this video, I want to quickly show you five websites that you can use for downloading free DJ samples and sample packs for creating music. These are SampleSwap.org, Looperman.com, Freesound.org, Archive.org, and MusicRadar.com. So I'll just start with this first one here, SampleSwap.org. I'll download some um, some sample, samples from each one of these and show you kind of how to do it and how to search on them. Um, SampleSwap requires a registration and login and you have to have a valid email address because they send the download link to your email. Um, but what you do, so you, I'm already lo logged in and registered and signed in here, um, but I'll just click on one of these different folders under um, beats and drum loops. Then you can click on each one and play it. And then if you have one that you that you like, see I've already selected a few here, so I have 7% full of my of this download. So the way it works, you just select the ones that you want, and then they email you a link uh, of a zip file to download that. But and then that again, so that link is in your email, so you have to have an email um, to do that. Um, and once it's full, like I thought at first, maybe they would charge above and beyond that. But it's actually every time you do it, send a download link. So if I want to send this right now to me, I'll just click download. And then it tells me to put my email address in, click submit. So then it uh, organizes and compresses this zipped file, sends me the link in my email, um, and then I can download it. And then each time I do that, it resets back down to 1%. So I can fill, I can do as many of them as I want. So if I want to go to spoken word this time do like German history clips so now it's back to 1% so if I click on some of these ones then I can add that one in there mm. so and then that's, so that's how that works with uh, sampleswap.org um, this next one looperman.com you also have to have an account to use it so I've already registered I'm already logged in here um, and then if you click on loops and samples, you can download directly though. You don't have to have it sent a, a link sent to your email like you did with Sample Swap. Um, so you can just look at these, play these different ones, and see. And if you want to download one, just click download. It opens up the file, so I, you can get more information about it. Then just click download and just save it right to your computer. Um, you can also read about the copyright information. It tells you um, you can use them for personal and commercial use. Um, you can read more about the details on their site here. Um, and these are uploaded by other users. So you can actually upload on both the sample swap and um, looperman.com. You can create your own samples and upload and share them with other people as well. Um, so yeah, and there's different genres, different categories you can um, look at and some different ways you can search. So that's a good one to check out too, looperman.com. Now freesound.org is the next one here. I covered this in one of my other videos for free sound effects. But if you just search loops on Freesound, um, it'll show you a ton. So in the bottom right-hand corner of the clip, it says the length. So 7 seconds, 4 seconds, 42 seconds is kind of long. But So there's different things here. and But most of them are pretty, like pretty good, short. And they're looping. They're loops, so you can loop them over and over again. Um, what else? So you can see the attribution here. This is Creative Commons attribution, these little symbols. If we click on it, um, we have different ways we can toggle the view here and check out the audio quality. Um, we can find out the name of the piece, um, the na the author, or that's, I'm sorry, this is the creator of the piece, DWSD, so we would give attribution to him or her, and then the name of the piece here. And again, it's just Creative Commons attribution, so we can use it for personal and commercial as long as we provide attribution to the person that created it. Um, oh, then log in to download. What? I forgot. Do we have to do that? I guess you do. I guess you have to log in to download from Freesound. Did I do that last time? I thought for sure I didn't have to. Anyway, it looks like you might have to log in to download from Freesound as well. This next one, archive.org. Um, it's kind of tricky. So if you search for loops under, I'm mean, under all media types, so I can actually change it down here and go down to just audio because they have video and they have all kinds of stuff, images. So under audio, search for loops. Um, then I'll open this in a new tab here. And it's kind of hard to find some decent stuff on here, but there, there are some pretty cool things here. So there's always different tracks.
then I can download each one here. So then, like that one was 14 I was looking at, so I can go down to 14 and download either the different kinds of versions, Wave, Vorbis, um, and what else? Okay, so one thing is though, it's going to drive you crazy um, trying to find stuff on here. Oh, I should open that back up. So what you can do is go down to the tags. Was this one tagged? This one didn't have any search tags. To do search tags, you just type subject space parentheses. Actually, that space makes a difference too. So if I click search now, this will search everything that's tagged under loops. And I, what I actually want to do is erase that space. For some reason, it does. I told you it's crazy. Oh, oh, colon. Put a colon in there. Now it gets you different search results. Um, so you can do like check out these different. Um, there's some pretty cool stuff. And then this one I think is uh, public domain. Um, we can just download it. It doesn't say anything about the um, the composer or the attribution for it. But sometimes it'll say um, the name of the, the person who composed it, like on this one here. Um, it says this so we have to give attribution because it's the attribution share alike license so we also have to anything that we produce using these sounds we have to also make, make that creative commons and then give attribution to Antonio Duarte I believe and here's some of his work there so that's archive.org again you gotta get familiar with the way you search and find stuff it's not really intuitive but there are a lot of um, different loops and different cool things um, that you can find on archive.org. All right, and this last one, Music Radar, this is actually a, like a community website for musicians and artists um, or musical artists. Um, they've got all kinds of reviews and different things, gear reviews and lessons and tutorials about music. Anyway, if you click on DJ and then go down to samples, they also have a ton of free, really cool, good sound packs. Um, so if we just click over here, so I clicked on um, DJ and then samples. So they've released one. I guess they've been doing like monthly for a long time now. So there are, there's like 138 of them, different packs. So you can click to listen to. So this is an example of one, two, three, four, five different ones that they that they have in this pack. We can download the whole pack here. For, it's 136 megabytes. Just click here and download and save it to your computer. And then you just go on to the next one, read information about um, where the pack came from. Um, and uh, yeah, if, if, it, if you like what you hear with them, then you can download that pack as well. Just click download and save it. And that's again a whole pack of like tons, um, I don't know how many, you know, hundreds of samples. So yeah, those are the websites I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you found this informative. Um, if you're interested in digital DJing, you're also going to definitely want to check out my video where I uh, review the program Mix, M-I-X-X-X, if you haven't heard of it already. Um, so check that out here on my channel, um, TJ Free, here on YouTube. Um, also check out my website, tjfree.com, for more information. And I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next video. Take care.